Hi, this is your boy Sambo Keys, and then today we are going to unbox CT X3000. Sorry, yeah. So, Casio CT X3000. So, here we go, and this is my first time of buying a brand new piano, uh, beyond a brand new Casio, yeah, Casio brand keyboard, and then this is how it is. So, this is the box Casio CT x3000 yeah so ct x3000 okay so now let's unbox it so this is how it looks like and then so it comes with uh, a holder okay this one those that plays him most of the times they use it more but some of us we don't normally use it maybe we, we might put our phone there for videos or for uh, some one or two things yeah and then so it comes with uh, extra adapters so this is one and then Okay, so I said earlier I have boxed it, I've unboxed it already, and then because of this video, I have put it in the box and I'm unboxing it again. So, this is uh, the adapter I'm using, it is a three pin. Okay, so in case your socket is not a three pin and it's not like this, then you can also use this one. They grant you three spare. Okay. You can use this one this is two it has only two pin okay so you can use either this one it is also in the box and then or if your extension board doesn't have that one and uses this one that is this this pin this pin. you can use or if it still has uh, two pin like this okay you can also use so for me, I prefer this for the meantime. Okay, since I'm going to use it at church, and then yes, prefer this. Okay. So for the meantime, this is what I'll be using as the adapter. Yeah. Good. So it also has um, a manual. Okay, it contains a manual, and then um, this one is written in different language, and this one too in different language. But this is in English, okay. So I prefer the English. Okay, you can choose maybe the Chinese one. I don't understand China. I can choose that one. But the English is okay for me. That is it. So the other two you can put them somewhere and then let's go. So okay. So this is another manual too. As, okay. So now the main keyboard is here and then yeah so this is it in fact i love the way it has been packaged very 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 nice okay so So this is how it looks like. Oh, this is it. This is the piano. This is the Casio CTX3000. This is it. This is it. And then it has um, this is the uh, DC port. Okay, this is where you have you insert the adapter. And here is the pedal. There are two pedal inputs, and then one audio in and then your output and then usb that is for midi recording and other stuff then another usb so it is quite cool and then the reason why i love this i'm going to show you within a short period of time it has nice and good ep tones it has about 40 ep tones and you know that is one thing i love 
I love you. That is one tune I love. And then the piano is very clean. Yes, the piano is very, very, very clean. So, let this is it for now. And then I have just on it for the first time. Okay. So. Let me set my pedal. Okay, so see how the piano sounds. Some of you might ask, is it a heavy weighted piano? It's not heavy weighted. But look at the sound of the lower side. Look at how it sounds. See how it is. the piano and then let's check the e pianos and then see let's go to number 20 so from number 1 to 28 is all pianos so different is stage piano then grand piano then bright piano then mellow piano Okay, then ambient piano. Uh, all this. So this is pop piano, rock piano, dance piano, another piano, mono piano, honky piano. Strings and piano. Then piano part. are all types of piano okay then E grand then Pepsi okay and you know look at the Galaxy EP is it on the Yamaha E463 I don't mostly use it but look at the way it sound here like I just love it I just love it Okay, then the dynamics EP. So now we are on number 30. This is where the E piano begins. So okay, so you see how it sounds. Then next, so from number 30 to 70 is EP, just EP tones from 30 to 70. So this is Lascent EP. If you don't like this one, have E piano one, E piano two. If you don't have this one, E piano three, E piano four. Okay, 
another EP, another one. So here, the language is different. Instead of dwelling it, you can lay it. Okay, so this is it. It is here. When you press upper layer for once, then it will just add strings. Okay, so you can also change the tone that you have dwelled here. It's the same like um, using the dwell function. So here, this is mellow strings and okay i want warm strings let me come back to um, so strings is okay let me get a part four two one let me get some part and then use Okay, it's Fantasia. So, this Fantasia is too heavy. Let me look for something too warm. Okay, Fantasy. One part, okay. It's quite cool. Okay, so let's back. Let's come back to our normal EP tones. So another one. So you see, sixtieth EP. dynamic EP again so so you, see, you can use this one to do most of your EP works and then you can't get these tones on E four six three Yamaha, yeah. I, I I'm not <laughs> I'm not against that keyboard or um I like that one also. But comparing this one to it, you yourself you will know that this one is very good. And then Diggy EP. So this one too, it has a speaker, and the speaker is different. It it sounds heavy. Okay, the bass is very good. This finish we haven't even <laughs> so this is 48 mellow EP one EP so
okay okay so that is it so from 29 or from 30 to 70 is ep tones and has nice organ tones too. and then please when you buy it there are presets of tones that have been saved on it already one you have your stage piano and then your two you have dynamic ep yeah and then roll through your gun then okay so this is the galaxy ep then you have your solo sax <laughs> okay so you have um number eight e piano e piano okay so i've split it the e piano is here and then my organ is okay so you get it so you can split it you can um also layer it or dual as the same thing layer and then dual it and transpose to is here minus and plus that is it and then you know your octave to you can shift your octave by just pressing this one see look at the bass sound i just love it and then still you can go further can go again you can also lower it so. Huh. good so what are your thoughts when it comes to the Yamaha E versus three and then this CTX three thousand. Which one will you prefer? So these are not all the tones, but look at how interesting it is. So watch out for more settings and more tutorials and more tones and more settings on this on this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified each and every time I place a new video there. Okay, God bless you. God bless you so much.